In this tutorial, we're going to talk to you about the character palette. So we already know that the type tool allows us to create type, but if I want to manipulate this type further, like change its look or appearance, aside from scaling or things like that, then I'm going to want to use the character palette. Up in your top menu, you're going to have some of the character palette features, which is basically allows us to change the font choice, change the size of the font, and change the type of the font. You can also go to your window feature, scroll down to type, select character, and you can get an actual character tear palette. We're going to show all of our options. So if I want to change it, the font itself, I can select and change the font. I can change the style of font. This one only has one version, so let's see if we can find us one. This one allows me to change it to italic, bold, bold italic. I can, of course, change its size to it from a preset to a specific size that I want. I can adjust its letting if I have more than one line of type. I can adjust its kerning, which is the space in between the letters. I can adjust its vertical scale. And notice how when I scroll over the numbers, it gives me a quick preview of what it's going to look like. I can also do in all caps or title caps. I can also superscript. And a better example of superscript is I'll highlight this part of the text or I can subscript it. I can underline it or I can put a strike through it. Character Palette comes really in handy when you have font management software such as Typekit or Suitcase. But this is how you use the Character, pan character Panel in Adobe Illustrator. 